Hello there, my name's Joe and welcome to my channel. In uh, today's video, we're going to take a look at how we can add text to the background of either a film clip or a JPEG image. So to get started, um, we only need three things really. We need to ensure that the uh, free layer is enabled in CapCut and we need a video clip and a JPEG. We've got both of those there. Okay, so first of all, to enable the free layer, if you go to menu, come down to settings, and then come across to edit, you need to ensure that this free layer tick box is ticked. If it isn't, um, tick it and save. Um, but if you're doing this for the first time, then you'll need to start a fresh project. It won't work in the current project. Okay, um, I've downloaded a short video clip that I've, I've used before and a still image. Okay, so let's now add a um, video clip to our timeline and then we'll add some text. So if I come across to my video clip, click on the plus sign, that adds it to my timeline. I'm now going to come across to the text. I'll come down here to default text and I'm going to click on the plus sign to add that to my timeline. I'm now going to come down to that text box and I'm just going to drag it out to the same length as the video clip. Okay. Now I'm going to come over to the right hand side and I'm just going to change the text a little bit. Let's just say my ground text that's fine let's just make that a little bit bigger and I'm just going to position it in a bad place so it's annoyingly in front of that um, that flower there okay let's click away from that so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to my media tab on the top left and I'm going to re-add another copy of the video clip. So press plus again. This is the new clip. What I'm going to do now is I'm now going to lift that on top of my previous clips there. Let that snap. And there we go. Now, while this layer is still highlighted, I'm going to come across here to the cutout tab. Click on that and then I am going to click on auto cutout. Now you'll notice up here and it um, takes a few seconds to do what it's doing. And you should notice now that the text is actually now behind the flower. So um, to demonstrate that, let's, uh, let's run that clip. Okay, so you get the gist of that. So the text is behind the image. And um, there are other ways of doing this. Um, quite often, I think um, people would do this perhaps using a compound clip. Um, this is just a way of doing it without, without doing that. So to um, just finish off, let's just do the same thing again, but this time with a, a still image, a JPEG photograph. Um, so I'm gonna come across to my photo I'm going to click on the plus side to add it to my timeline and then I'm going to move it over to the right hand side like so. I'm now going to add a text box as we did previously so back up to text click on the plus side for default text and move that on top of my JPEG. I'm now going to drag that across to the same length, time length as the JPEG. And I'm now going to come across to the right hand side. I'm going to change the text slightly. Let's just say hello world. D. I'll bring the timeline just across there just to help me a little bit. Um, I'm going to change the font to black. 
where's my fonts? My fonts here. I'm just going to select that. We've got black font. Let's just bring that in there. So that's nice and on top of the image, just how we don't want it. And um, let's just click away from that. Okay, so now I'm going to come back to the media tab and I'm going to add my image again. Same as what we did for the video track. I'm going to pull that on top of the previous. Make sure it has to be in line. Let me just make sure that's snapping too. That's okay. It should be okay. Right. And so with us highlighted on this, we need to come across to the cutout again and enable auto cutout. There we go. And now if I bring the timeline across to the JPEG, we will see that the text is behind the um, main subject of the image. So I think that's really clever. Anyway, so I'm just going to press the home key, bring my timeline back to beginning. And just to finish off, just for a demo, I, I find this quite interesting. You, you may not, I'm sorry. Um, but if I hide the original track, we can see there now that the background's gone completely. And if I press play to let the video play, I don't know about you, but I think um, CapCut has done a, a very good job there. I think that's quite impressive. So there you go. So this is one way of adding text to the background without using compound clips. There are other ways of doing this. And uh, that's about it. So um, I hope you found this useful. Thank you for your time and goodbye.